Ben Greishaber is the Director of Manufacturing Integration at General Motors. And you're here at the MBS conference talking about Industry 4.0. That seems to be the buzzword. Right. But you guys have a different way of describing it. Right. So for us, we call this initiative Smart Manufacturing. And the reason we differentiate this is Industry 4.0 sometimes is really just about the technology. And for us, it's really about how we integrate the technology into our business to transform our business model. Um, we need to mix a lot of what we do today and the technology we have today with the next generation of technology that's coming forward. And that integration is the smart piece for us. So give us some examples of what you're, you're talking about. I mean, General Motors has been making cars for over 100 years. Right. What's starting to be different now with what you're talking about? Right, so um, a good example of, of how we're implementing this new technology is we now use drones inside of our plants to do inspection at heights in the plant. So as opposed to an operator on a lift um, operating at heights, an inherently dangerous operation, we now send drones up to do inspection and then digitally tag areas that need follow-up from a maintenance standpoint and then only send the operator up to the specific locations that actually need work done um, as opposed to just to do basic inspection. We're doing the same thing on rooftops of our, of our buildings outside and in confined spaces, so you don't have somebody crawling into a sand uh, mix vessel, for example, in a plant. Not necessarily a job a lot of us would want to do. It's gotta be a great time saver using drones. What, what else are you working on that's this impressive? Right, so um, we're also uh, um, implementing what we call wearable robots. So um, there are mechanical exoskeletons. So think of, of a mechanical spine that you would wear as sort of a suit um, that would provide support structurally to you uh, to, to, to perform a repetition of manufacturing operation um, and put you in a proper ergo position, again, to protect our operators, to help them operate safely. And we have another new technology that, uh, that we're deploying called Iron Hand. Iron Hand came out of a collaboration with NASA um, and the Robonaut program uh, of some years back. Uh, and it literally is a mechanical glove that's powered uh, by a lithium battery pack that sits in a, in a backpack that you wear. It's about five pounds. And there's mechanical tendons, uh, much like a bicycle brake, like you'd pull a brake and it pulls on the mechanical cord. It's pulling on and activating sensors in your finger and closing the grip and giving you about three pounds a little more of additional grip pressure. So if you're in a job where you're uh, um, drilling fasteners in a plant and just on a drill motor, grip, grip, grip all day long, it's providing a lot of fatigue or repetition um, reduction in stress and strains that an operator would see. So are you just experimenting with it or do you have this in production now? Uh, it's all, all these examples. It's a commercially available, the Iron Hand is a commercially available tool and we're in deployment right now to, the, to our field. We've, we've applied this across three or four plants right now in selected applications. What's been the feedback of the line workers mm. with the drones, the exoskeleton, and the Iron Hand? Yeah, so here's, um, here's the best feedback uh, that I've heard on the Iron Hand. We had an operator who um, came and said, every day at lunch I would take an Advil so that I could get through the rest of my shift. This is the first time in 10 years that I haven't had to take an Advil at lunch. So I don't know that there's a better testimonial than that. Really interesting. What's the next step? Uh, the next step is really scaling up from a broader distribution um, for us, um, for, um, for each of those individual technologies, um, and, um, and then moving on into the whole area of analytics and increasing the sort of penetration of analytics on the plant floor. But this is really not about eliminating jobs, um, it's about enhancing jobs for people, creating operations that are safer for people to operate in, and aiding our workers as opposed to replacing our workers. You know, I never thought that I'd interview somebody talking about manufacturing involving drones, exoskeletons, and iron hands. Thanks for this update, Dan. Very interesting. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Rochling Automotive is a system supplier collaborating globally with OEMs in the areas of aerodynamics, powertrain, and new mobility.
Visit Roachling.com for more information.